Merry Christmas, everyone. Another child died in ICE custody on Christmas Day, making this the second such death in less than a month. But of course, the media is too busy covering how Trump ruined another child, a white American child's Christmas instead. Well, that's very good. Well, you just have a good time. Are you still a believer in Santa? Because at seven, it's marginal, right? Ha! <laughs> ah, honestly, who cares? Who, who cares? This is an adult man who believes that his hairspray can't leave his sealed apartment and devastate the ozone layer. Oh, also, an eight-year-old died on Christmas Day in an ICE facility. Now, let me just start off by admitting some bias here for all the radical centrists who are gonna say, you know, oh, I'm terrible. I can't offer a charitable take on ICE, okay? They are evil. If you work for the organization, you are doing evil. You're participating in truly horrific things. and. Even the people working at ICE know this. Turns out, even ICE wants to abolish ICE, or at least dissolve it. A bombshell request by top federal officials within Immigrations and Customs Enforcement. The senior agents have now written this letter to the Homeland Security Secretary, Kirsten Nielsen, asking for their part of ICE to be divorced from the rest of ICE because being associated with the administration's hardline immigration policies is making it harder for them to do their important national security work. The Enforcement and Removal Operations Branch, which is what ICE is known for, all the door busting and awful shit, is so bad that the Homeland Security Investigations Unit, which actually combats all the sex trafficking and like transnational crimes, is trying to separate themselves from the rest of that agency. And no wonder they want to dissolve the agency when their ERO division is basically the Gestapo, famous for things like abusing a trans trans woman in custody before releasing her to die, or famous for more sexual harassment than Harvey Weinstein's hotel room, and now famous for letting little children die. Three weeks ago, a seven-year-old girl died after being apprehended by ICE. And if you think any of this responsibility is on the asylum seekers and not on the border patrol agents, well, here is the standard protocol of ICE and CBP. But in these images, those gallon bottles of water are being kicked and destroyed by border patrol agents. The images range from 2010 to 2017. Well, Hassan, it seems like this was being done under Obama as well. Checkmate, libtard. Okay. Let me put this in terms conservatives might understand. Let's say you found out your neighbor was having sex with your wife. And in the process, let's say you also found out that your brother was also having sex with your wife. Would you all of a sudden be okay with being a cuck since uh, someone you thought had your best interest in mind was also doing it or not? I guess my point is we're still getting cucked. So focus on that rather than who's doing it. It was bad when Obama did it and it's bad now. But there's one area where the Trump era is much worse. ICE has nearly tripled its enforcement against non-criminal immigrants. Under new directives, ICE happily targets low-hanging fruit, severely increasing the amount of legal permanent residents, since this is just the numbers on the board to the masses who have been lied to about how dangerous all immigrants are. Now, of course, this isn't true, since undocumented citizens cause crime at much lower levels than natural-born U.S. citizens, and they give more to the economy than they take, so ICE's functional utility isn't to maintain order or to help the economy, but to simply terrorize brown people with its indiscriminate exercise of forceful deportations. You don't target jaywalkers when you're trying to end violent crime. So why do ICE targets range from teenagers in middle school to little girls with cerebral palsy on their way to the hospital? Yes, you heard that correctly, by the way. A 10-year-old girl with cerebral palsy faces deportation after her ambulance was stopped at an immigration checkpoint while on her way to get emergency surgery. Which is shockingly not the worst thing ICE has done this year since they implemented a separation program where they took children away from their parents as a deterrent. Because that's how little they care about the lives of human beings who are trying to come into the United States legally. Speaking of which, there are still hundreds of kids who will never get to see their parents ever again. And what's truly frustrating beyond the immediate cruelty is how stupid people are for believing these racially charged lies. We live in the wealthiest country on earth, the wealthiest country that has ever existed, where our unemployment rate is now at 4%, but our poverty rate is at 12%. And people still think 
that the system isn't structurally broken, and if we only just deported some more law-abiding abuelas, we'd be able to fix the whole damn thing. So I urge you guys to wake up, okay? Things will only get more cruel unless we address the actual issues. If we keep focusing on the dumb things that Trump says, rather than pressuring our representatives to draw up clear legislative plans to combat all of the problems of late-stage capitalism, your children might also become the next statistic. I'm Asam Piker. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And also don't forget to smash that like button. If you want to join me for a longer conversation, please go to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Hasanabi, where I'm live every day after 5 p.m. Pacific. And if you want to support TYT, please go to tyt.com slash Hassan and join TYT memberships only $5 a month. And this has been The Breakdown. Did you know that TYT Network is now available on YouTube's new streaming platform, YouTube TV? Get access to full TYT episodes and exclusive shows by signing up for YouTube TV today. All new subscribers get a seven day free trial. So head on over to youtube.tv and search for the TYT Network channel. Perfect.